Hey guys, so today I'm just going to do a simple fall look using the Naked 2 palette. We're mostly using this. I'll use a couple other shades. Okay, so I already completed one eye. This is kind of what the makeup will look like. They're all matte shades except for the highlight. And that's just the highlight that came in the Naked 2 palette. So my crease color on the eye is Naked 2 from the original Naked Basics. And then I already have that on in the crease. So I'm just going to blend that out and then go ahead and move on to the highlight. And I'm taking Skimp, the one that comes in the palette. It's just kind of a satiny creamy shade and I kind of use my highlight to sculpt out my brows I keep it really tight and close and I'm using my Sigma large shader E60 brush it's just a synthetic oh no it's just not synthetic it's a natural hair brush so I have that on It just gives a really pretty sheen. And I put a little more right up close. Right in the arch of my brow just to kind of emphasize it a little more. And then I'm going to take just, I think this is an e.l.f. or Target brush. It's just a crease brush. Um, I'm going to take Primal and Cover. And just kind of mix those two together. This one's more of a cool red, and this one's more of like a green. It has like it's kind of like greenish gray. And I just go back and forth between those two, and then tap off the excess. And I'm just going to put it in the kind of like the outer half of my eye, like you can see here. And kind of keeping that V shape, but slightly rounding it a little bit just because I do have downturned eyes so gotta correct that and I first just like to pack it on and then kind of blend it out and I'm very lightly dragging it in. I don't really want it to be emphasized as like how you can see how it gradually fades in. I don't want the majority of my product there. So just like that. And I just keep building the color till I like how it looks. And then I go back in with my fluffy brush, my E40 from Sigma. And I'm going to mix Frisk and Stark together. And just kind of go in and blend out that line that we just made. And I know we already have a transition color on but that's just to help with more of the blending process it will be covered up you won't really be able to see it in this All right. and then I just go back in and touch up my highlight a little bit ever so lightly sorry guys I'm all over the place today So once I have that on, then I'm going to go into my Naked palette, the first one, and I'm going to take the shade Naked. It's just a matte brown. 
and I'm taking that on my E55 shading brush and I'm just going to pack that on the lid but not going any higher than my crease. And just kind of blending those two colors together. So there's that. And I'm also going to take the two highlighting shades, Vixen or Virgin, sorry, and Sin and just mix those together on my E30 pencil brush and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line but still keeping it in the inner third and then dragging it up top and slightly blending it onto the lid just like that. So you get a nice little shimmer but it doesn't look like two like white dots in the middle of your eye. And just always blend, blend, blend. And now I'm going to go in with my E70 medium angled shader and the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade Undone, it's kind of like a grayish color and I'm just picking up a little bit of that and tapping off the extra. And this, I like these brushes for doing the outer corner because you can kind of place it in the angle that you want. So I'm going to take this and just place it in the outer corner. and kind of bring it how I would like my eyeliner. And just working that in, just not picking up any more color, just keep blending what's already there. And I'm constantly turning my brush, so I have it like this, but right here and then I'm turning it to kind of fit right in there so once they match up I'm going to go back in with my e what is it, E40 and take Frisk and Stark again just to help blend that out one more time. And then I'm not taking any more product, I'm just using what's left on the brush and taking this and kind of finish blending out but a more detailed blending. And I'm going to actually pick up just a teeny bit more of primal and color, cover, sorry, just to bring some of that color back in so it's not so gray in the outer corner. And once again, taking what's left and running that on the bottom lash line. I'm going back in with my E40 just because I feel like there's a harsh line right there. And there are the eyes. I've been wearing this look. This has been like my go-to look right now. This is very fall appropriate. And then for my lower lash line, because what you do to your top, you want to do to your bottom. I'm going to take 
Prime on Frisk on just this no name pen. It's a double ended brush, but I'm just taking the pencil side and running that on my bottom lash line. Concentrating more of the color on the outer half and just barely sweeping it in. And then taking a little bit of undone and just focusing that on the outer third. And always blending that out too. And then taking a little bit of frisk just to help blend the shimmer color together and the darker colors together. Because you want it to be a gradual fade. You don't want any color to be, oh, eyeshadow in eyeball. So I'm going to take Rimmel and NYX. Rimmel is East End Snob. And also I'm going to take Nude from NYX. And just line my lips with those. Don't ask me why I'm mixing the two. I don't really know what my rhyme or reason is for that. But I'm going to take Touch of Spice from the new... Um, what is this? Maybelline Collection. The matte. And it's just a really pretty fall berry type color. But these are not like a normal matte lipstick. They're not drying, nothing. They're very creamy. And then I do mix it with, just to kind of tone it down for right now, I do mix it with a little bit of the Maybelline Blushing Beige. And then we'll go back in with the nude liner just to clean up. There are the lips. I really like this color. It's not too dark, but it's kind of a take off like the Kylie Jenner lip that everyone's been obsessed with. Okay, so I'm going to go do my eyeliner, mascara, and lashes, and then I will come back and show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you could pair this with a nude lip and it would be very wearable for day. This is still wearable for day. Um, it is a little more smoky, but nothing too crazy. I have a little blush on, mainly contour. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.